All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. Krampus, get out of here. Hello, 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 and welcome to a new LP, Franbo, as you can see from the title. I'm Huddy von Schland, and this came as a request from Fantastic Games, which I will put a link up on the right hand side and in the description so you can check out her stuff. She plays Vampire the Masquerade and she's hilarious. So um, yeah, I guess I'm, I don't know why it says continue. I haven't played this before. I don't know anything about this game. Oh, her eyes move. That's pretty cool to the cats. No, just hers. So I don't know anything about this game. So let's just hit new game. Autosave. Great. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. I'm guessing everything's gonna go wrong in a second. They have a present for me, I wonder. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. Uh, my mother-in-law's cast is named Midnight. My best friend, my only friend. Oh, that's sad. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday, my parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> Drinking milk. We are having so much fun. It's a Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Oh god. A strange creature outside my window. It's Krampus. I don't like it, it scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. A bloody knife. Mom, Dad. Please don't. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that turned gory real quick. Running away through the woods with her cat. Cat sees something. People. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. Okay, oh. So already really creepy. One, two. Oh dear, three. Fran, how do you feel? Awesome. Um, I'd say I feel like dying if that happened to me. Do I have to be? B. There we go. <laughs> feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. Recovery, don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. Nonsense. I don't see that one. Uh, better than let me go. That would be better. You should not tell me how to do my job. Why not? Do I have to hit this? Okay. <laughs> but now I have something for you, Fran. What? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Uh, this? 
Okay. This was my mother's purse. Okay. Open it. There is something inside. Uh, examine. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Aunt Grace. Aunt Grace, well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. So tired of all this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. No more medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. God, here comes Nurse Ratchet. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Dearn? Nothing actually. Same visions as before. Okay, so her parents not really dead? Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Medicine. Delish. What now? I don't feel good. Oh, Christ's sake. Take her back to her room. That was creepy. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. There's those... <laughs> Some quick reacting medicine. God's sake. Beware, Franbo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. God. Is the cat talking? Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. My god, this game is already so emotional. <laughs> Wish my cat would tell me he loves me. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Oh god. Let's save a cross and a clown. Does that make her get up? Get up. I'm still here, hideous place. Absolutely. Can you get up? I have to get out of here. So then get up. Thank you. Uh, what are these things? Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Pills? I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> it's an awful thing to think. What's this thing? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. <laughs> she talks funny. Okay. Fran Bow, age 10. History of the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bow Dagenhart family. Tragedy details omitted, of course. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dion has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Okay, so we're in 1944. Okay, so she can talk weird if she wants to. She's still dressed oddly for 1944. Locked, good reason to get curious. Clown? You're a creep if you like that painting. Oh, Jesus. Pick it up. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Sure. Can we use this hook to... Yeah, open the drawer. Not sure what to do with this. Well, take this hook and open the drawer. Won't work. Okay, what about this window? That's like a freaking prison camp. All right. What's over here? Ugh, hang on. What's over here? Oh dear. What's this? Ooh, a secret box. Let's open it. A key. Excellent. Let's go back over here, and let's open this uh, bedside table uh, with this. This. There's something inside, which is what? OK. 
Okay. So we have a picture of the family. Why do you look so weird compared to the rest of your family? And we have this clip. Use it on your head. Use it... What did it say? Examine. My hair clip, I should give it a good use. Use. Use hair clip with... Why can't you put it on your head? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's talk to the sad boy. <laughs> Hello, Phil. Do a little bow for you, a little curtsy. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. You look pretty sick, to be honest with you. Oh, sorry. Um, I have to find Kitty now. Bye. They are just stupid. They always say that. Are you leaving tonight? Um, I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? Saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Who's him? What's happening? Oh my god! All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. Krampus, get out of here. Get out of here, Krampus. Nobody will help you escape. Go back to Bavaria. Bayon. I know, I hate the monster too. Totally feel you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Good for you. Let's look at this doll. I used to have a blue dress like yours, but this teddy bear. Oh, hope somebody loves you. About this. Fillmore Bronston, age eight, male history. The patient, um, if, by the way, if you can hear the music my neighbor is playing, please ignore that. She plays music so loud all day long. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior, paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dion. We have not achieved the patient's trust, and he refuses to be questioned. Sure. Can you get on this little horse? <laughs> are you having a good time? You are a little weird. I'm just, just saying. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? That's true. What about this? Of course it's locked. Can I use this hook? On this door? Nope. Okay, well, let's go back over here then. Let's go back over here. Uh, let's mess around with this wheelchair. Yeah, okay, sorry. I just want you to mess with it. How about looking out this window? Board it up. Okay. How about this? Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels? Towels? <laughs> I don't need any towels. Look out this window. Can't see through it. We'll look out this window. Oh, it's a little playground. It's super spooky, though. Let's talk to this woman. This nurse who has a pack of cigarettes right here, I think. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now leave. I'm working. How long was I asleep? Three days. Jesus. Um, so many days. I should find Kitty. Your cat is probably dead, girl. That's a nice nurse. It's good bedside manner. Now leave. I'm working. Something happened. What? See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? Broke the curtains. Accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. No, let me stay here and nick your stuff. Or steal your stuff. Sorry. I'm used to Germans. How is she still inside this room? Fine. I'm used to German speaking British English and they say things, they use British colloquialisms like Nick instead of steel. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtain up? Seen nothing. I haven't seen a thing. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Okay, come back over here while she leaves.